In this video, I'm going to show you how to install OpenVPN in Ubuntu. I'm in Sydney, Australia, and then I'm going to install the Ubuntu in London. Then I'm going to install the OpenVPN to this Ubuntu machine. At the end of the video, I can access to the OpenVPN and then all my traffic is going through the server in London. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so first of all, we are going to install the Ubuntu machine. So I use the Windows Cloud service. Any Cloud service is okay. So let's create the Ubuntu machine. So select the Ubuntu 2204LTS. This is one, right? And in my case, I select the region in London. Then uh, shape is any shape should be okay, but let's pick up the shared one and then uh, two gigabyte. It's uh, it's enough for the VPN server. And then we don't change anything. And then set the strong password for root user. Okay, so in my case, I use the SSH key to access the SSH. So it's optional. So accept the agreement and then create the Renault machine. So uh, in this case, uh, it takes one minute or two. It's quite quick. I just speed up the video, but usually it won't take long. Okay, so server is running. So all we need to do is copy the public IP address. And then Login through the SSH. In my case, I use SSH key, so specify the key here, and the username is a root, and then pass the IP address. And then password for the root user, and then accept that it's yes because it's the first connection. Then it's already we log in to the Ubuntu machine, so easy. Okay, so Linux is all done, so we are going to install OpenVPN. Okay, so change the layout a bit. Okay, so let's log in to the OpenVPN page. Once you log in, just select the ser access server that we are going to install. So in this page, you can see the step-by-step -step guide in the from one to seven. So once you finish, it's done. It's very easy. But the first one is talking about subscription. So let me show you how we can get the free subscription. Let's go to the subscription page. And the first time you see that this page. So let's go to the subscription, not the license, not the subscription. So don't, af don't be afraid this one, this page, because we select the 10 connection. That's why we can see the $720 a year. But if you select the two connection, this is free. Okay, so create a free account. So once you create it, you can get the subscription key. So just copy and paste, you know, keep it in uh, uh, somewhere. So we are going to use this key later. So the first part is done. Okay, so let's go to the next step, the get access server. So open the page and then select the distribution, uh, in my case, Ubuntu LTS, and then click OK. And then you can see the four command line. So that's everything to install the open VPN. So let's select the first one and then copy and then paste into the console and then simply hit enter. What it does is basically update and install some software like uh, wget. It won't take long, it's a one minute or two. Okay, it's done. So second part, uh, just copy and then paste it. So this second part is uh, get the public key to this machine. So it should quick. It should be done very quick. Okay. So next part is uh, create a repository for the open VPN. So that also is quickly finish. And then copy the last part is finally we are going to install open VPN. Right, hit the enter. So that one also, it takes one minute or two, very quick. A 
Okay, so restart the service if required. And then done. So installation is very straightforward. And then you can see the two URL. One is admin, the other one is client. Let's start from the admin. The copy the URL and then paste into the browser. This is because a self signed certificate accepted this uh, warning message. And then log in. So username is OpenVPN and the password was generated in the installation step. Just copy and then paste it. Then you should be able to log in. Uh, yep, it leads through the contract and then click agree. In this page, let's paste the subscription key we got in the previous step. Then we are good to go. Now we have a two connections for free. Okay, so just to change the layout. Now we are going to create a user who actually established the VPN connection. So let's go to the user permission page and then create a user. So set the username and then complicated password here. So the other option is to keep as a default. And then click save. And then make sure this save, this change is applied to the running server. And then click this button. Now it's uh, user is activated here. So password is all set. Okay, so let's move on to the client side. So copy the client URL and then open up the client machine. I use the Windows 10 in this demo. Before we set up the VPN client, let's check the public IP address. This IP address is Sydney, Australia at this moment. Okay. So let's paste the, the URL we just copy. Okay, so this is a self sign certificate. Just accept this warning message. And then we are going to log in. So username is uh, the user we just created. And this is the password. Okay. Then we can download the VPN client. All right, so this is the window. Just click the Windows button to download. Once finished download, and open up the installer. Let's accept this warning. The installation is quite straightforward. Just click the next and then accept all the requests. Okay. Let's accept the warning messages. Okay, so now finish the installation. So once finished the installation, VPN client will be launched automatically. So let's go through this introduction. Just go next, 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 and then uh, click agree, and then click OK. So your profile is already set. All you need to do is just uh, tick the toggle button and then type the l password. Okay, so now it's you connected the VPN connection. So let's check the IP address of the machine. So this IP address you can see in the VPN client in the same IP address. So let's check the public IP address at this moment. When we access the same page, we can see this public IP address is now it's London, United Kingdom. So now it's all the access from this machine is going through the server in London. So now we finished the installation of the OpenVPN.